10 basic reasons why you should never be poor. I am Dr. Stephen Ori Oye Olakunle. It's a great privilege to become your way again today. I know this channel has been used to add value to your life. And I know you're getting blessed. Thanks for the comments. Thanks for the sharings. Thanks for writing me. Thanks for the accolades and the suggestions that you have given. God bless you all in Jesus' name. This is the second part of our Wealth Creation series that will take us for some time to as we explore some secrets of wealth creation. But we must understand what poverty is and why you should never be poor. Like we said in the first video, that poverty is a state of being when one is unable to do what God has assigned him to do, having been financially constrained. When finances becomes a problem, we say such a person is poor when he is not able to do what the good things that he would have done which God has ordained him to do. We say such a person is poor. But I want to add this to it, that poverty is a mentality. Poverty is a mentality, while wealth is a decision. Poverty is a mentality. Wealth is a decision. Poverty is a state of lack and hardship. Poverty is a state of lack and hardship. What are the 10 basic reasons? There are many reasons why you should never be poor. We cannot even exhaust them. But these 10 that I'm going to give are basic reasons why you should never be poor. I will encourage you to share this video, to listen to it again and again. You can save it, you can download it, and you can take your pen to write down what I'm about to say. I know it will bless you because it is blessing me. It has blessed me and it will bless you also. Number one reason, the first reason why you should never be poor is poverty will make your wisdom look like foolishness. If you are poor, your wisdom will be like foolishness. No matter how discreet you are in heart, but if you are physically poor and you are in a state of hardship and lack, you will be. it will be as if you are not wise. Because one thing poverty does is that it silences the voice of the person that it has held in bondage, in captivity. But in the name of Jesus, God will help you to break free from poverty. And as you make the decision to come out of it, and as God helps you, in Jesus' name, poverty silences the voice of its victim. Your wisdom will be like foolishness. It, it will be as if you don't know anything. It will be as if you cannot do anything. If you will see Ecclesiastes in the Bible, chapter 9, verses 13 to 16, the Bible talks about a city that was besieged by another city, and this city was to be taken, but there was a poor wise man there who through his wisdom got the city delivered. But the Bible said the poor wise man was not recognized, was not known. The basic reason is not because he doesn't know what to do. It's not because he's not wise. It is because he is poor. Poverty will silence your voice. Poverty will make your wisdom to look like foolishness. Number two. The second reason why you should never be poor. Poverty will make you a suspect of local witchcraft. Poverty will make you a suspect of local witchcraft. I, I have seen this time and again. When poor people get old, people assume them to be witches and wizards. When, especially the women, when they get old, when they get to to their very old age in 
poverty, penury, hardship, lack, and pain, and, and in a state of not being comfortable, people assume that they are witches. But the truth is that most of them, they are not witches at all. They are not witches. It is poverty that makes them look like witches and wizards. I pray poverty will get out of your life so that you will not be, you will not be like a witch. You know, when somebody is very rich, a woman, a man, and he gets old, people still come to them and get blessed. They call them to come and pray for them. They, they, they honor them more to, to attract the blessing, to connect with the blessing of God upon their life. But if somebody is poor and he gets old, people, especially in our part of the world in Africa, they will assume him or her to be a witch or a wizard. But that is the work of poverty. It will make you look like a witch. Whereas you are not one. Mm. Isn't that serious? In Proverbs chapter 19, verse 7, the Bible says that the poor is hated by the members of his family and his friends. Why? He say he is pursuing them. They, they are running away from him. It is not because of anything. It is because of his poverty or so po poverty, and that poverty has made him to be to be assumed to, to be a suspect of local witchcraft. To be assumed uh, to be assumed uh, as a witch or a wizard that don't go home, or don't go and meet your mother, or, you know, because she is in penury. But if she is very rich, like uh, Oprah Winfrey. People who want to go and, and see her. Yeah. If she's very rich and okay, like Joyce Mayer, people who go, want to get to get close to her and see her and have something to do with them. But you see, prophets will begin to say, Don't go home, don't go and see your mother, don't go and see your father, don't go and see the members of your family, your uncles. It is because of poverty. Poverty makes you look like a local witchcraft. You are assumed to be what you are not. So a poor person is hated by even the members of his or her family. They call him witch or wizard. Number three, the third reason why you should never be poor is it will make even your neighbors to disregard you. Poverty will make even your neighbors to disregard you. Poverty will make even your neighbors, you'll be undermined. You will not be, be counted worthy of anything. You will, you will not be recognized. Your voice will be silent, like we, we, we said it earlier. More than that, even your neighbors, they will despise you. They will disregard you. It will be as if uh, you, 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 you are somebody that is not worth being on earth. That is the work of poverty. In Proverbs chapter 14, verse 20, the Bible says a poor man, a poor woman is hated of his neighbor, that is the neighbors of even a poor person we hate him or her. That is why you should never be poor. And as I'm speaking today, as you are hearing me, with the grace of God upon my life and upon those that have arisen, and by the mercy of God, you will break free from poverty. Number three, four, the fourth reason why you should never be poor is that poverty will make you weak. Poverty will make you weak. That is, poverty has the power to demotivate somebody. It demotivates your vision. You know, when you think of doing and you have a vision of doing great things, of achieving great things, of, of, of doing uh, things of substance, and you think and remember that you lack you have no money, especially if you have done it, you have taught it the first time, the second time, and consecutively like that, money has been a problem. You will be demotivated. You will be weakened. Poverty makes you weak. It demotivates vision. Poverty demotivates vision. That is why in, in, in Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 19, the Bible says, money answers all things. In the amplified version of the Bible, it says that everything is as a result of money, that is, money answers, give answers to everything. In the message translation of the Bible, it says money is what makes everything to be done. Money is very important, but 
where there is poverty, where somebody is poor, his vision will be demotivated. Poverty is a demotivator. Poverty is a demotivator. Don't forget that forever. Thanks for liking this uh, video and sharing. God continues to bless you. I'm Dr. Stephen Orioye. All happily, we still continue. Number five, poverty will minimize your impact. Poverty will minimize your impact. Jesus would not have been able to do everything he did if lack had been around him. That is why in the places where lack would have shown up, he did miracle. And I pray that miracle will happen in your life also. But more to that, the Bible says in Luke chapter 8, verses 1 to 3, that there were certain women that God raised for, for Jesus that were paying his expenses, that were paying for the things that he did, his journey. They were going with him and they were giving him, supporting him with their substance. So he did not lack. We saw even at his death, it was a rich man that went to secure his body. Otherwise, maybe his body would have rotted. Who knows? Maybe he would not have resurrected. But thank God that God has assigned everything and he makes all things work together for good. The man came. He was rich. He was influential. And he secured the body to fulfill prophecy. So poverty will not make your prophecy fulfilled. The prophecy upon your life, if there is lack, it will not be fulfilled. But in the name of Jesus, God will bring you out of anything called poverty. Number six, the sixth reason why you should never be poor is that it will make you a perpetual object of ridicule. Poverty will make you a perpetual object of ridicule. Poverty will make you a perpetual object of ridicule. You will be insulted. You will be scorned at. You will be laughed at. You will be despised if you are poor. A poor person is always an object of ridicule. Yeah, if they want to do anything in an organization, you are the one that will not pay. You are the one that will not meet up. You know, if one is not careful, he, he, he can laugh. He can scorn at the poor. But the wisdom of God is that you don't scorn at anybody. But poverty will make people to scorn at you. That is why poverty has to get out of your life. And you have to get rid of it in your life. Number seven. Number seven the reason why you should never be poor, it will make your development and growth stunted. Your development and growth will be stunted. Roman Catholic Church was able to take over the world after 327 AD when the church was legalized in Rome. And Rome had the world power. It was the influence of Rome, the money they had, the power they had, that they used to spread the church all over the known world then. Poverty will not allow such to be done. The gospel will be limited wherever there is lack and want. That is why the Lord is our shepherd and he says we will not lack as we apply the wisdom of God that is revealed to us in his word, his principles. God will give you understanding. Poverty will make your development and your growth stunted. Even physical growth and development, poverty will make it stunted. Many people that have the brains of computer, that have very high IQ, but because of poverty, they cannot go. They could not and cannot go to a very good school where their potential can be maximized. And at the end of the day, you see them becoming a conductor. You see them becoming just a roadside engineer. Whereas they have this magnetic and computer brain. They have this high level of intelligence and intelligent quotient. But poverty has stopped them to public school where they will not have teacher in our part of the world. Where some classes don't have teachers. There are some subjects that we were not taught in school. But thank God for personal development. That is why some of us are able to speak today because we develop ourselves personally, but then there was important subject that we did not have the teachers to teach us because we are product of public school. You see, you cannot go to private a good private school today without money, without money. Poverty will make your growth and your development stunted. Ministry, growth, and development will be stunted because you have good things to do. You have great things in mind, but once you it comes to the point of money and there is lack, you will be weak. 
demotivated and the growth and development will be stunted. Number eight, the eighth reason why you should never be poor is that oppression is not far from the poor. If you read through the Bible, you will always see these two phrases together, the oppressed or the afflicted and the poor. You will always see the poor in the same verse with the oppressed, with the needy, with the afflicted, everywhere in Psalm 72, verse 4, verse 13, verse 12, also in Psalm 82, verse 3 and 4. Everything there is talking about poverty. That is the poor and the oppressed, the poor and the afflicted. So oppression is not far from the poor. But if you are rich, you are, if you are financially wealthy, you cannot be easily oppressed. And I pray in the name of Jesus that God will help you. You will come out of poverty. You are coming out. You are coming out. You are coming out in the name of Jesus. Number nine, it will connect you more to the dung than to the top. Poverty connects you more to the pit than to the top. Poverty con connects you more to the dung, the dung hill. You will always see in the Bible again and again talking about the poor that are in the dung hill, in ghettos, in the slums. It connects you to the slum than to the to the GRAs, than to the VGCs, than to the high high rated areas of the world, high levels, and people of, of uh, timber and caliber. Poverty connects you more to the dung, to the ground, to the dust, than to the top. You see it everywhere in the Bible, the poor and the dung hill. But God knows how to bring them and make them sit with King. But on, in ordinarily, they are always at the dung hill and on the dung hill and in the dung hill. May the Lord bring you out in the name of Jesus. The final one, the tenth reason why you should never be poor is that poverty will ultimately bring destruction to a life, not your life because you are coming out. Poverty will ultimately bring destruction to life, to destiny. Many lives have been wasted. Many destinies have been wasted because of poverty. I pray you will get out of poverty this season in the name of Jesus. You can see that in Proverbs chapter 10, verse 15. The Bible says the destruction of the poor is their poverty. Why the security, the defense, the, the preservation of the rich is their wealth. But the destruction of the poor is their poverty. I hope you have been blessed. I hope this adds value to your life. In the name of Jesus, you are coming out of poverty. Continue to subscribe to this channel. If you have not done so, subscribe, like, comment, share, write me. I am Dr. Stephen Ori Oye or Lakunle. I live in Ondo State, Ibokoda Ondo State, Nigeria. From any part of the world, we can reach you. Write us through WhatsApp, through email, and you can write us, DM us uh, through our Facebook channel, Instagram, and YouTube. God bless you. See you in the next episode of this Wealth Creation Series. God 